Hi, my name is EJ Massa, founder of DonkeySex.com. Hi, my name is EJ Massa, creator of The Bachelor Party. Now, you may not know this, but I create most of my assets for The Bachelor Party on my iPad. Now, you may be thinking, EJ Massa, you stupid asshole. Don't you know computers are better? And I'd say to you, where'd you learn to talk like that? Did your mom teach you? Is this your mom? Is it? Here's how I make a frame. Uh, first, I'll consult the script. Uh, let's see, Alex is reacting to Eric getting a drink out of nowhere, so he'll look confused. Uh, first, I'll create an under sketch. I use Art Studio. It's really like a mini Photoshop. I used to use uh, Sketchbook Pro on the iPad, but it crashes all the time, and it really doesn't have as many features. It has like limited layers and stuff. But Art Studio is fully featured, so get that one if you like to make art pictures. So the underdrawing is just a quick sketch of what I want it to look like, and it's just quick and messy so that I can get all the shapes where I want it to be. Why do I use an iPad? Well, I do it because I have like an hour plus commute in the morning and in the evening, so I can bring my iPad on the bus or subway pretty easily, and I can just sketch away. Also, I just love drawing on the screen, and I'm too poor to buy a Cintiq. So this is the next best thing, really it is. Once the underdrawing looks good, I'll make a new layer and start inking the thing. I'll use uh, nice black lines and basically trace over the underdrawing. I like to use a nice uh, thick outline to make it really pop. I know they're like monochrome characters against gray backgrounds, but the outline really makes it pop, so I like it. Next I make a, an amorphous gray background. I do this for my close-ups. For wide shots, I use a bunch of backgrounds I drew before the series even started. Um, like you have the bowling alley and the, um, the bar and the pool tables. So I don't have to worry too much about making backgrounds because those really are time consuming and take like a couple hours to make. It's really a uh, quick and dirty animation style so I want to keep the production as smoothly as possible. Next I color in the character on a separate layer. I do this as opposed to filling in the line art with paint bucket because I often reuse frames with minor adjustments so it's easier to modify the line art when it's on a different layer than the uh, color. I will do about 80 unique frames per episode so it takes a long time. It's like drawing an 80 frame comic book in less than two weeks while also having a full-time job and having to do all the other stuff that goes with making an animation. After I'm done and I think it looks pretty good, I export the picture to the camera roll and I can upload it to my computer. And there you go. Here's one frame of animation. So uh, here's a couple of the upcoming dates of the episodes. Just go to ericsbachelorparty.com to watch previous episodes, any updates, any news. And uh, follow me on Twitter at eBachelorParty for any other crazy things I, I have to say. And um, just stay tuned. But seriously, is this your mom?